We've got 30 mile an hour winds today. It's just cracking light. I just waited. I'm going to some spots to do some stalking. I'm going to try to be out there most of the day. But I was just going to show you what I'm going to use for a stalking day. So I've got this is two layers of first light base layers. One's the furnace and one's the kiln. I got the pants on too. The bottoms, two layers, kiln and the furnace. And I just got these. <clears throat> I got these on sale for a good deal. It's Plythol with the digital camo. I mean, I'm not real sure how I like the camo. I don't really think I, I dig the digital camo, but, but this is a lightweight jacket. And I think I'm going to wear that today. Wear that and these pants. And I'm going to be mobile. I'm up mobile today. And I'm going to put this vest on. This kind of a windbreaker vest with a tall neck. So that's, that's the stalk and get up. And what I really like here, I got these Plythol bibs a while ago. That's for late season. They work pretty good. They keep me warm. But uh, I'm only taking, I'm taking this GoPro. I'm going to take a couple extra batteries, got some gloves, take my binoculars, I'm going to hang that puppy somewhere, and taking my backpack, and I put my string on here, because if I shoot me a couple squirrels or whatever, I can just hang them from my pack. So that's the plan. Maybe we'll come across some big horn, I'll put a stalk on him and thump him with the, with the old phoenix laying over there on the floor ready to head out the door. So, we'll see you in the timber. Okay, so I'm getting closer to where I want to be at. I'm down here in a big bottom. I'm up top right now. The rivers are up there. Huge bottom down there. It's a river bottom. So, I have no idea what's going to go on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right down here. Drop down there by the river. I'm going to creep around this river bottom. I'm going to look for sign, hunt squirrels, just see what we can come across. This is going to be kind of an all day thing. When I'm done here, I'm going to drive around through this park and I'm going to get on the back side and then I'm going to come in through the woods. It's kind of a long walk. Got to cover some ground, find some new spots or something because I haven't found no big horn lately. I know of one big buck, but he didn't show himself. I hunted him for two weeks. So that's what we're doing. We're just going bow hunting. I've been walking this river <laughs> way up on this hill. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro. Right there. That's a deer grazing on acorns up there I can't get to her and it's no hunting over there so I ain't even gonna shoot a doe anyways I'm so far back here I'm just cruising the riverbank looking for sign anyway let's continue on as I got up to this drainage ditch I seen this squirrel go running across there to this tree He's up this white oak over there, and he's trying to figure me out. So as I'm creeping forward, I have no shot to lean around the tree, so I just step out from behind it, and I'm just hoping for the best. He's right up there in that tree, about eight foot up, and he didn't want nothing to do with it. He ran down the backside and got out of there. back here at a new spot winds howling dude I'm way back in this big bottom this is pretty secluded there ain't really nothing around I can't hear traffic or nothing which is kind of rare from around around here dude I hate setting up in here in traffic anymore I'm so sick of the sound of motors and all this crap <sighs> anyway I 
haven't been back here in a long time and it grew up, dude. This is where Chubbs lives. I'm gonna have to do some more searching around here at this spot, maybe for next year. I'll get back here in the summer, get on a big river bottom buck, maybe over 200. Be awesome to put one down over 200 inches one day. Dudes, I've been hiking. I am so far back away from my truck. I seriously think I'm probably four miles from it. Holy crap. I have seen meteor ochre deer sign. It's just, it's kind of hit and miss. I've been trying to hunt squirrels, but the wind got them suckers laid up too. I haven't even had a shot yet. So I'm on a log here and uh, my wife passed me some stuff. I already ate her homemade banana bread. But she, uh, we got a, we invested in a freeze dryer, a Harvest Right freeze dryer, and it's awesome. Like, look at that. She, she packed me up some freeze dried apples, and this stuff will stay good for for damn near ever when you freeze dry it, not dehydrate it, but freeze dry it. I'm about to get me a little snack and then I'm gonna make the trek back to the truck. And then I gotta go move a couple cameras, but maybe I'll get a squirrel or something on the way out. You never know. I'm way back here. I'd love to keep going, but I wanna get these cameras moved before, uh, before I gotta watch my babies for the evening because my wife has to work. So who knows, we might try to shoot some rabbits or something or some birds flying some doves or blackbirds you you never know you just got targets everywhere all right well I'm gonna get a snack and then I'm gonna get hiking dudes long hike long I'm gonna climb this hill here Headed out, going to do some camera moving. Yeah. Just another adventure in the woods today. Trying to find them, trying to find new big bucks. A lot of stuff's laying low in this wind. Got us some turkeys crossing the road here. I got a turkey tag too. That's public land on that side. I could go try to set up and cut them off, but... Dude, it's real thick in there. We're just letting them dudes cross the road. There's a bunch of them. Oh, he's flying. He's scared.
change cameras around here and I have thumped me a big fox squirrel. Sometimes I call them reds. Yeah, I know they're not red, but he's red. Orange, big old fox squirrel. Got him in the wind. Okay, here, let's take a look at him. got away I thought he'd seen me I'm having theories about this digital camo like the whole time I've been stalking this morning I just like I seen squirrels running and stuff I just feel like the crap don't blend in I don't know what what do you guys think about this digital camo I don't think I like it anyway there's what I used he was about I don't know, 20 yards facing away. He got him a nut and I thumped him right in the back of the noodle. So, big old fat fox, he's coming home with me. Uh, see, that's why I like a high capacity quiver. Take that sucker. Put my arrow right in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go up here and get my camera, and then I'm gonna sneak back in there near this thicket. And I'm gonna put it up and see what happens. Maybe we'll get another squirrel. Big old set of ball bearings on him. All right. Whew. Well, I'm about back to the truck. I got a couple more minutes. So, this was my day in the woods. It's about one o'clock. And I'm gonna hang with the kids this afternoon, evening. I guarantee I'll be shooting bows. I don't know if we'll, maybe we'll try to shoot some rabbits or something if they come out in the yard, if I see one, or I, I'm thinking about getting an ax in the blind, see if a buck might show up for him, because he has a tag left. So, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna clean him. Big old long tail. It's been a good day so far. My wife just messaged me and said she has, uh, she made egg salad. So I gotta get there. All right, we'll see you on the next one. What do you think, buddy? Is that a pretty nice squirrel? Mm-hmm. Well, we got to clean him, don't we? Mm -hmm. What you been doing? Um, Vesper went to piano and we went to the library. Oh, now I got you a squirrel to eat, didn't I? I know. Blood. Blood's on me. It's coming out of his mouth. Yep. Yeah. All right, here, I'll follow you. <laughs> Made her back home. Me and Axe got to clean this squirrel up. Well, I said it earlier, but we'll see you on the next one.